I got to build the Chrome Dev Summit website last year, and it was amazing. But like any project of this sort, it has loads of challenges. So material design is really good for apps, but sites are a bit more of a challenge because it doesn't have much to say about those. I had to step in, kind of look at the spec and go, how does this work for a site? You know, so I'm looking at the spirit of the thing. I'm looking at the details, trying to figure out from all the other material design things I've seen, how to actually make it work for a site. And in the end, I feel like I got there. I feel like it does look like a material design site. Um, but at the same time, there is a bunch in there that probably isn't in the spec. When I got to building the site, I knew that the animations of these card takeovers were going to be really hard to do at 60 frames a second. So I ended up coming up with a new way of doing it. And that way was to take the first position of the card and the last position of the card, and then using transform and opacity changes to reverse the end position back to the start. Sounds a bit bizarre. Um, but then when you switch on transitions on transform and opacity and you let it play forward, it plays cheaply because these are just done by the GPU and so on. I call it flip because it's first, last, invert, play. And it was the way that we got from, hey, this is not going to run at 60 frames a second to, yes, this pretty much does run at 60 frames a second. And uh, that for me was really satisfying. Around the office, we would often talk about the site and the new things that were coming into the platform that we thought, hey, you know, we could throw these on and they would really add a lot. The first one that I wanted to add on for sure was Service Worker because I knew conference Wi-Fi is normally pretty you know, weak. Um, it was slightly better at Chrome Dev Summit than anywhere else I've been, but all the same. Service Worker there for offline, and this was before any of the, the new stuff like push notifications. That was great. So that went on. Um, we added on theme color, because that was really nice on Chrome and Android. Again, as you change the sections, just the theme color changes, that was really great. Um, and then the last thing was to add a manifest file um, so that you could save this thing to home screen. It would always launch in portrait mode. And those three things combined actually made it feel really integrated to the platform. that all new uh, and really sort of a great opportunity to showcase those technologies. I love sharing the process that I go through with developers. So for me, it was never about build something and then forget. It's always about build something, get the source code out there so that others can look at it and, and figure out how you actually solved particular problems. But in my case, I was also able to stand up at Chrome Dev Summit itself and say, the site that you've all been using is available now, and here's the process that I went through to get there. Here's the, the journey that I went on. And so all in, it's like this kind of package of technologies and ideas and source code and just sort of hopefully an inspiring thing that lets people go, you know what, actually, I didn't think about the web like that, and now that I am, I can see the possibilities.